Hello my friends, welcome to this channel. I'm Anna and I help you grow beautiful and healthy plants. In this video, I'm going to show you how I plant these keikis on my orchid. And this is quite a complicated situation here because you see I have two keikis. One of them is producing these wonderful roots which are actually very long but they are actively growing. You see that the tips are very active and green. And I have just two roots here. Normally they produce kind of three leaves, three roots, but you can see that normally um, they can also have one or two roots. However, the orchid here, you see it's not in the best shape. It's actually rotten and I really doubt that I can save the mother plant because the leaves turned yellow in just two days. And I think that the base, basically uh, the crown is completely rotten. We'll see in a little bit. I think this happened, not I think, but I'm sure that this happened due to overwatering. Of course, when uh, we have summer and it's very hot, then we water, water it a lot. But very often um, we should be very careful and not overwater the orchids. And I'm going to use um, basically the medium for orchids, which is normally bark and some uh, leca and also a little bit of moss. But I will not mix the moss together with the medium, but I will use the moss to use also this jar. Uh, and also, of course, hydrogen peroxide to sterilize the, the keikis and plant them in a different way. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with each keiki and the mother plant itself. Of course, using gloves is also important working with orchids because they are uh, very prone to root rot and stem rot and basically they like to get rotten. Uh, I will be basically removing the keikis from these flower spikes and planting them differently. So one will go into the medium, but one I want to plant in a jar with moss. I'm going to show you in a little bit how I'm going to do it. And also maybe I will try to even uh, propagate uh, the flower spikes because they seem to be quite green, quite healthy and actively growing still. So I will use this moss, which is also, you see it's alive, it's green and it's moist also. Uh, I think this will be the, just the perfect environment for this test basically to see if I can propagate the flower spikes and have some, you know, more keikis growing on them. So let's start. First of all, of course, I have here a couple of um, uh, pots, transparent ones. We see which one uh, I will use. I think the bigger one because one of my keikis is, of course, um, having very long roots and the small one will not fit. Of course, I will put on my gloves now and we will start working with the keikis. First, I will remove the keikis, plant them, and then we'll see what we can do with the mother plant. If if, if there is even anything still that we can do with the plant, I think we don't, but let's see. Oops, yes. The leaf fell off and of course the whole plant is rotten. The mother plant um, will not be possible. It won't be possible to save the mother plant. And now let's remove it from the pot. Let's just turn it a little bit. And yeah, it goes out very easily. The roots are completely rotten, of course. So yeah, this is a... Uh, Quite unfortunate situation for this plant, but we have two keikis. And actually, I haven't done anything specific uh, to grow keikis. I think that uh, some varieties of orchids have this kind of uh, ability uh, to grow keikis, and some are not really uh, producing keikis at all. Um, but yes, so basically, it's just normal care that uh, the way I was caring, taking care of my other orchids nothing special here again i've done what i was doing for others so yes the mother plant you can see is completely rotten let me show you a close-up you will see here that yeah there is nothing to save the base is completely black you can see it here yeah there is nothing we can do about it anymore unfortunately well, I will need to remove it. Okay, it's completely rotten. And now let's work a little bit with the roots. And there's nothing to do here as well. They're completely rotten. There was even a baby growing from the mother plant but or the stem. But yeah, I think it's also too tiny to be saved. And yeah, I guess we will also lose that one. But now we have two cakes to work with. And first I'm going to work with this one. Basically I will need to remove it and that's actually what I suggest you to do as well. 
don't wait until the roots will be so long now wait it for quite a long time and that's why it will be a little bit challenging for me you know to find the right pots and to remove the cakey safely but basically you cut the stem a little bit above the node and a little bit below the node because the stems will still get dry a little bit and eventually the flower spike would get will get rotten but by that time the keiki will already grow other roots and it will not even need this part of the stem anymore. I will use also hydrogen peroxide uh, to sterilize the cuts because from both sides we have fresh wounds now and to make sure that the flower spike, uh, this piece basically will not um, start to get rotten in the medium when I plant it, I will just uh, use, you know, I will just use one drop of hydrogen peroxide on both sides to make sure that there's no bacteria or anything just to sterilize, but I don't do much honestly. So I think this is completely enough. I don't use any, you know, basically nothing else. I just clean it with this hydrogen peroxide and I think this is enough. Every time that I have planted my cakes like this, they were pretty fine. So I'm going to use this uh, bigger pot and I think I will use just, um, I will put one root in the medium, but the other one will be kind of an aerial root for me. And why I do this? Because in this case, if uh, if the keiki will get rotten, the, if the, not the keiki, but if the root in the pot will get rotten, I will still have another aerial root and I can repot it if needed, but I think everything will be fine. So I will just put a little bit of uh, medium just like this and also I will try to put the keiki a little bit to the center now. When the keiki will grow more roots it will be more stable in the pot and in the medium. Now there will be just this one root um, and I will also plant it a little bit above the surface of the medium again because the flower spikes um, have fresh wounds on both sides so I don't want to plant the keiki deep uh, uh, so that the flower spikes will not be under the medium and then when I water it can be quite kind of a moist environment for them so I don't want the flower spike to start getting rotten. I think uh, this way a little bit higher it will be quite good already and then when the keiki produces more roots I can repot it or um, yeah basically I will repot it deeper if needed but normally you know that it's better to have your orchids keikis planted a little bit higher than the medium just to avoid uh, root rot because if they are planted a bit deep then you always risk um, yeah to overwater them this is how it will look like of course I will try to a little bit stabilize them in a little bit and also I will water them but I will not make the medium completely uh, wet or I will not dip the whole uh, pot in the water how you can basically see that everyone is suggesting to put the pot in the water for 15 minutes in this case I'm not gonna do it I will just let the water run through the medium go out from the holes of the pot and that's it I'm not gonna soak it in the water because again I don't want to um, yeah make it you know to risk it to to let it get rotten and now with the second one this one doesn't have roots at all so you see that one produced two very long roots and while I was waiting for this one to produce roots it still didn't want to so this one I will cut uh, from here so I will leave the flower spikes a bit longer because I have some other plants with this one so I will cut it here and then I will also remove the flower spike a little bit above the node because this part is just getting uh, will get dry or um, and will not do anything again i will use now hydrogen peroxide to sterilize both wounds of the flower spike and then i'm going to basically this one i will wrap in a moss in a little bit and also i'm going to show you how i will use this plastic pot and the jar to make sure uh, you know that this cakey will basically grow roots so I will take this plastic um, plastic cup basically and I will make holes uh, at the very bottom but also I think the cup I will maybe I will need to actually shorten the cup as well because I think it's quite tall now um, yeah I will put it basically in the jar uh, just like so and then there will be just a little bit water at the bottom of the jar just a little bit so that the flower spike will kind of touch the water and 
still deliver water to the flowers uh, to the keiki so that it doesn't get uh, wrinkled doesn't get dry and then i will use this moss which is already a little bit moist and i will use just a little bit of it to basically wrap the moss around the flower spike at the base of the keiki but not of course covering the whole keiki and this way the flower spike will basically touch in the uh, water will be delivering humidity to the keiki and the moss at the base which will again be moist because of the water in the jar it will also be kind of uh, creating this a humid environment for the keiki to produce roots and when it produces the roots then I will plant it as well so I'm gonna wrap it just like this so you can see that uh, you need just a little bit of moss and this moss is quite a good one I would say I'm gonna wrap it just like this so touching the base of the keiki but not really wrapping the leaves in the wet moss because this way again it will be very uh, not such a good environment for the keiki because it can really get uh, rotten easily so just the stem will be touching uh, the water but not the moss so the moss will not be in the water only this uh, tip of the flower spike so now let's cut the plastic cup a little bit so I will basically shorten it quite uh, a lot so just half of it I will cut off because we don't really need um, a very deep pot here and this will kind of serve as a pot or as a base for our keiki just to be you know stable so that the moss will also not fall off from the flower spike so first i will put it in this plastic uh, pot to to stabilize uh, the keiki the stem and also the moss of course and then now i'm going to put it in a jar just like this i think it will be quite well this setup should work i will of course uh, be posting updates for you to see how it goes maybe uh, also pictures on our uh, community on the youtube in our facebook group but also uh, of course i will record some other videos uh, later to show you the progress in general hopefully positive one so now i will put this in a jar and i will place it um, in a very bright area of course not under the direct sunlight uh, that's obvious I think in case of keikis they need just very bright uh, light but not sun and I will also uh, cover it with this plastic um, uh, what is it yeah basically you will need to cover it with anything that will have holes but also will be transparent for the light to go through and uh, you will need to have some holes on it to make sure that uh, the air ventilation will uh, yeah will be well for the keiki not to stay in very wet environment but to have also access to the fresh air so what whatever uh, is needed will be evaporating but it will still be quite humid in inside so you see that the flower spike is just touching the water but it's not deep in the water so that it doesn't get rotten um, by itself so okay this will uh, work I think and this, this looks pretty well already now uh, let's see what we can do now with uh, these flower spikes I'm going to cut them actually from the mother um, plant from the base and here I have I think two three nodes which is quite good and uh, the flower spikes of course sometimes they can get uh, yellow or they can turn brown get dry but now they are green and quite healthy for now so I will try to propagate from the flower spikes but of course it's not that easy to propagate uh, orchids from the flower spikes also pay attention to the temperature um, because now it's autumn I think it's not the best way uh, best time to do it but I will still try so I remove the sheaths from the nodes to make sure that the new growth uh, will come out will grow easier and then I will use again the nodes uh, the I will use again the moss uh, and I will put the moss in this um, bottle in this jar in this plastic jar and let me actually also uh, first maybe yeah uh, just a little bit just like this this will be enough let me just remove the paper I think so that you see inside 
you see what's going on inside so yeah just a little bit of moist uh, moss we have inside and now i will just you know stick these flower spikes in the moss and again cover the jar with um with something transparent that will have holes in it so that i can actually uh open when i when i need it and uh let the air flow kind of you know uh, bring the oxygen to the uh, flower spikes and also of course the excess of uh, air will help it grow and not stay in very wet humid environments for quite a long so you see that uh, everything is good we did it so this one is planted above the surface and it had roots and then we have this one that is wrapped in moss and will still need time to produce roots and also we planted the flower spikes as a test i've never grown new orchids from flower spikes but i really wanted to try this time share your experience in the comments i hope you like the video and of course if you have questions write them down under the video stay patient about plants and i'll see you next time